YouTube and welcome to another video review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. This time around, inside, because it's raining, which is really irritating, irritating since it's summer. Still, it's very warm though, so strange. Um, today's beer is going to be a double IPA by Southern Tier. It's going to be the Double India Pale Ale 2x IPA or 2 times IPA. I'm not sure on how to pronounce it. I'm guessing it's 2x IPA. And it's brewed with four varieties of hops and three types of malts. It's on 8.2% alcohol and it's in a 12 fluid ounce bottle or 355 milliliter. I've heard a lot of good things about this beer, like a lot of mixed opinions. I've heard people thinking it's like really, really good. And some think it's just, yeah, it's a good, it's a solid double IPA, but we'll see. Uh, this is pretty fresh as far as I recall. I bought it not too long ago, but I don't know when it was bottled. I hope it's the uh, last batch. Um, got some info here from the brewer's website. It says, not quite an imperial, but certainly not a standard IP India Pale Ale. Our double IPA is a hot lover's dream. Citrusy and clean with an uh, incredible finish. And that's it. Uh, so sort of a double IPA and sort of not. So we'll see what I think. So let's crack it open. Well, that smells citrusy. That smells really, really nice just from smelling the cap. Let's put it here and pour it into my Huldendrak tulip. Oh, that, that's nice looking. Oh yeah, lovely pour. It's filtered, as you can see, clear, very clear, like a dark uh, yellow, maybe orange color. So look like a honey color, sort of like a honey yellow color with a frothy two finger white head. Doesn't look that creamy though. And it's very effervescent as well. It looks nice. Let's check out the aroma. Very juicy smelling, like juicy hoppy. And there's some like some like some breadiness uh, as well. I think like yeah, sort of like yeah, sort of a breadiness. And it's definitely there's definitely some malts in the rum as well. And it's fruity, nice and fruity, with uh, some citric uh, notes, grapefruit. Just smells really nice. There's definitely also like maybe orange in here as well. That's really, really nice actually. The aroma is lovely. Yeah, smells really good. Let's dig in and give it a taste. Well, that's really, really light actually compared to other double IPAs. But they say said also they also said not uh, your average imperial IPA. Um, the body. It's fairly light though. It's very light, quite refreshing. It's got like a clean hop taste. Uh, the mouthfeel is dry as with most uh, double IPAs. Uh, it's not as dry as the last double IPA that I had, the barrel aged 1000 IBU by McKellar, but it's still quite dry. Oops. Um, up front, you get, definitely get a huge amount of citrus. As you swallow it, it turns more into a pine, piney flavor. Definitely tastes more like a West Coast IPA, which is fairly strange since it's brewed on the East Coast. Um, it's pretty nice and really refreshing, super refreshing. Maybe also some peach actually. Yeah, some so like tastes like peach, and look at that lacing. That looks really nice. The color though sort of looks like a, a lager actually. That's like being colored with like caramel or something. They do that here in Denmark in, with some lagers. Um, there's also a slight amount of tropical fruit actually. Slight amount of pineapple. Not as much pineapple though as in their hop. And also a slight breadiness from the malt. And you can definitely tell, taste that there's a a decent amount of malt in here as well. 
and it's very nicely balanced actually, uh, the beer itself. Um, it isn't over, uh, over super hoppy and super bitter. It is bitter though, but the, the, the harmonize is great uh, with the malts and the, the hops in here. The, the alcohol is actually not as present as I would have imagined. The alcohol is like barely there at all. It's very, very well hidden, which is very nice. Rating wise, it's getting an 85. This is a really good double IPA. Not the best beer I've had from Southern Tier though. It reminds me a little bit of the hop. The hop was just way more juicy tasting and a lot more pineapple. But it's still a really good double IPA though. Uh, I like it. It's definitely a beer I'd buy again. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like 30, 35 kronens. Which is pretty cheap for an American double IPA here in Denmark. So um, this is probably going to be a revisit. Because a lot of the double IPAs I drink from like Southern Tier and such are so expensive that I usually don't revisit them. But uh, an 85 for this Southern Tier 2x IPA or 2 times IPA or what do you want to call it. Uh, I think it's just a fancy way of typing double IPA as with their chocolate and such. They have a fancy way of spelling chocolate. Um, well, that's it for this beer review, guys. Comment on my video, subscribe, check out all my other videos, and thumbs up as always. And I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you in the next beer review.